Hello, how are you? In this video, I'm going to show I'm going to uh, show you um reason why when you send to some people, PayPal can say recipient cannot um receive money or like sorry, this recipient can't accept payments right now. Okay. The problem is uh usually there are usually two or three problems. Uh, the receiver's country where he signed up the account, okay? Or the receiver's account has some restriction, all right? If he's from a right country or you have been sending to him and out of the blue, he doesn't can't receive, uh, probably it's because it maybe has a restriction or something, okay? So we're going to uh, try to send to account and uh, and uh, see what really causes the problem. So I'm going to send to, I'm going to try to send to this account, okay? Uh, I'm going to use another account. This account can receive and send, okay? Most people don't realize, if you don't know if your account can send and receive, you have to be having two things like send and get payments or pay and get paid. If you don't have this, it means actually you can't receive. So when someone tries to send you money, he will be getting the other prob issue that uh, recipient can't accept any payments, okay? But sometimes because of another issue, we're going to discuss those two reasons. So uh, let me just say I'm trying to send to uh, a person this amount of money. We're going to try to send him like $1, you know, something like that. And... Uh, so let me send uh, like assess practice is one dollar. It's one point zero zero dollar. Continue. So when I try to send to this person some money, I get an issue like the country are trying to send money to can't receive this payment. Okay. So these days paper upgraded systems, they usually specify exactly sometimes why you can't get a problem. So the problem with this account, we am trying to send to the country can't receive, okay? So it means the other receiver has to sort out his account and uh, we're gonna show you how you can actually manage to have an account which can receive even if you're from a country which can't receive, you know? So uh, if I log into this account, you realize, uh, let me just log in a few minutes because I would, I would like to show someone like, so when I log into this account, you realize like this, uh, this user just has like send, it doesn't even have send and receive, meaning his account is supposed to only send. So when the other account tries to send payment to this, it's impossible because uh, this account is set up from a country which can't receive. So this account has to delete it and create the account using a country which can receive as we are going to see, okay? Yeah, so, uh, so the first thing is if you find that problem, it means the receiver is in a country which can't receive, like, uh, for example, in Africa, there are a lot of countries, but uh, you realize like most of the countries, I think they are like around like uh, 11 countries out of all the African countries, which can receive. I discussed about that in one of the videos. I discussed about that in one of the videos. If you check on my YouTube, I think I have a video, this one, which details about the countries which can receive and which can't receive, you know? Countries which can pay only and those which can pay and receive. So you can check out and see if your country can't receive and uh, and you get to know what's the problem, okay? So problem number one is solid out. If, you are, if you're sending to someone and his account can't receive and is in a country which can't receive, it's impossible, okay? Uh, how to overcome that if you're, in a country or what you can give advice that person, I'm going to tell it to you. Another issue is if you both have accounts which can receive, for example, pay and get paid, and also you the sender, you can send and receive, and also the other person can send and receive, maybe you have ever, ever even sent him some money, what you do, that person has to check his notifications. Sometimes 
there are questions which paper is asking about an account, maybe is ID, maybe the last time you received the payment, what was the reason, you know, payment usually, paper usually ask those questions. So if you don't really bother to check out your notifications, uh, you may really not get, uh, you may not really know why you can't receive, okay? So sometimes it's a minor thing like this, a temporary thing like this, the person is being asked some questions and he has an answer. So, uh, so if you, if you, you are the receiver and you have been, your friends has been saying they can't send you money, it means you have to check out in your notifications, see everything is answered. You don't have any pending notification, okay? Yeah, so if that is your situation, that will fix your problem. But if you are in the first problem of your country, which can't receive, now for you, it's another thing. You have to actually delete that account because there's no way you can change this to have send and receive unless you first delete it out and you create a new one. Um, the reason, okay, you can stay with this and create another one, but you can't use the same email, okay? So if you want to see, use the same email, you have to delete this one out. Then you recreate the account using a country which can receive, okay? Country which can receive, I discussed them about in this video, but they're not really so hard. It's, um, uh, you can just check out that video. You can just search on Google and see which countries can receive. There are many countries which can receive, like South Africa, in Africa, uh, there is uh, Egypt, uh, the so all those countries can receive. US can receive. But what you have to know is you have to uh, be able to do paperwork. Creating an account as another country, for example, creating an account as South Africa, the starting point will be to go to the domain for South Africa, which is paypal.com slash ZA. Then you do the setup, but the issue will be is, oh, let me first sign out. Okay. Um, so the issue will be, uh, the issue will be uh, the documents. You know, most people can create their accounts as US, but the problem will come is after setting up your account, paper will be quiet. But when you receive your payments, they may ask you to verify your ID or they may ask you to verify your uh, SSN, you know? SSN is uh, it's like, uh, uh, people in US know it, what what's all about, it's like, you know? So if you just set up your account as USA and you don't have any crew, you're going to get the, SSN for US, you are in big trouble and you can't actually fake it. That's the issue which people get. So you have to know, oh, the person is going to set you an account. It has to be in position to get you those documents. And the good thing is we do we do set up PayPal accounts, okay? Um, because for us, we have friends from South Africa, from this different countries. So those people usually can help you with the line because uh, Paper can restrict your country, but it doesn't have an issue if you can provide the documents which are required when they ask you. For example, I can say I'm in the US and they ask me what's your telephone line in the US. It means if I have a line in the US, I can do it. If they ask me for proof of address, that's a problem where it comes. So you have to be able to show you have ever, you, you know, your address, something like that. And other things which may ask. So if you're not really willing to, if you don't have a friend who can help you out, uh, you can really contact us. Um, this is my website, you know. So you can send us an email at business at Vita, okay? Or you can just send me a comment, or you can just send, uh, or you can just send uh, an inquiry uh we have the contacts on our youtube okay so we can set it we can set up that account for you uh we help you with uh, whatever is, is needed okay there are some countries which you can't use uh because of the documents which are needed so we there are some countries we, we can use you know yeah so we have friends there your friend can help you with the uh, with uh, this and this you know the whole thing is legal there's nothing to lie about me uh, buying a line in South Africa and using it, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe if you're going to use it uh, for the wrong purposes, but if you're going to use it for legitimate businesses, it's fine. So 
you can contact us if you need accounts, even verified accounts, or like, you know, or if you want a, 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 a paper account just to use, you know? Yeah, so uh, it's one of the things which we do. So you just give me a call or you can just write to me, then we see, although I charge a consultant's fee, so please note, it's not free, but we can really help you out with, uh, we can try to negotiate. So. The person who is uh, in a country which can't receive has to find a country which can receive, then try to create an account using that country. But you have to be able, you have to mind that you will one day be asked the documents. So if you can't do, uh, if you don't know how to do the documents, please uh, don't, if you can't get the documents, please don't do it, okay? Because you have the account, receive your five hundred dollars, five six hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, but then PayPal will ask you to prove who you are. You know, I have an instance of someone who came with one thousand dollars in his account, and uh, he was having an issue, and uh, he had used the wrong names. Uh, you know, so I told him, "How would you use someone's? You know, how can you use names which you can't prove you are? You know." So it was uh, in a in a in a full mess, you know. So I don't think it got that money, and I think people had to take that money. So that's the reason why actually people blame about PayPal. But sometimes it's because of uh, uh people the do the details that they submit they can't really prove them, okay. And PayPal is fighting about fraud, so it's something you have to note. So that is all what I wanted to talk about. Um. Uh, if you can't, if you're if you're having this error that reception can't accept payments right now, it may be in a country which can't receive, or his account may have pending issues. He has to sort himself with PayPal. Uh, Sometimes it may be a, a, a card which is expired in, in his account. Sometimes it may be uh, a person who didn't really fill in all the stuff and he hasn't filled them out, maybe, you know. Maybe his ID, or they're asking him about maybe what was the previous payments for. You know, we cover a lot of uh, paper restrictions in our YouTube, so you can really find how you can even uh, if you check in my YouTube, like you can even know how to provide purchase receipt. You can even how to know how to compile proof of fulfillment PayPal. The paper ask for proof of fulfillment when you get a payment. So in these videos, I discuss in details, even if you didn't, even if you don't have uh, any receipt, how can you explain to PayPal? Okay. So you can check out my videos for different sections, how I, uh, how I explain to them all. And uh, that is all for now. You can, uh, you can leave me a comment, see uh, maybe this has helped you or you have a, a similar problem, but what I've discussed can't help you, then we see how we can help you. Otherwise, have a good day and happy new year.